Our goal has been to recruit a number of people who do just the behavioral portion of the study, as well as a second group who do both the behavioral tasks and one or both scanner studies. Once participants have completed the first session of the behavioral study, they are invited to participate in a scanner study. This part of the study is optional, and a separate sign-up and consent process is involved. After arrival at the scanner and consent, participants go through a safety check. If this is their first scan, participants are often anxious about entering the magnet. While safety is the primary concern, some care needs to be taken to not alarm the participant and to reassure them that there is very little danger involved, provided they pass the safety check and do not bring any loose metallic objects into the room. A metal detector is used to check that participants have emptied their pockets of dangerous items. It is important that the participant is as comfortable as possible on the scanner bed as any discomfort may cause them to move during the scan. The participant gets headphones to hear over the scanner noise, keypads for response, and a visual input through a projection screen mounted on the head coil. This is viewed through a mirror. After the participant has been positioned in the magnet, communication is achieved through the microphone. A series of scanner sequences is used to collect images. First, a localizer scan is used to make sure the participant's head is placed in the center of the field. This is important for the image quality. The participant may need to be removed and head cushions adjusted to ensure good head positioning. Next, a high-resolution anatomical image called MP-RAGE, or T1, weighted scan is collected. The MP-RAGE takes just over nine minutes. During this time, the participant practices the task. This scan provides structural information, which can be used to assess individual difference in gray and white matter. The localizer scan is used to help position the field of view that is recorded for this and subsequent scans. This is often referred to as slice positioning. The functional scan, often referred to as EPI or echo planar imaging sequence, can detect changes in blood flow in the brain which occur when one brain area is being used more than another. An important issue is that the psychological paradigm, controlled by the computer shown here, is synchronized properly with the scanner sequence, which is controlled by the scanner computer. The scanner sends out pulses each time it collects a new volume image or 3D picture of the brain, and these can be detected by the computer that controls the psychological paradigm. 